Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do problem on projectile motion. These type of problems are important if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking dynamics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. So we're giving a projectile that is launched with an initial speed of 60 meters per second at an angle of 25 degrees and at a height of 20 meters. And we need to calculate this distance right here when it's going to fall to where it started. So let's first write what's given to us and what's not given to us. So initially, let me write this down. So initially, what do we have? I have at this point right here, I have t naught is equal to zero because I'm barely just starting right there. So my time at this point is zero. Now my x naught is zero because we're not moving anywhere. So x naught is zero. My y naught, it's 20 because this is where we're starting. This is my coordinate zero, but we are at 20 meters high. So that's my y naught. My y naught is 20 meters. And your y final is zero because it's going to land to zero. Okay, now let's uh, do v naught. Now let's convert this vector into the two components. What do we have? So I have v naught x and I'm going to have v naught y on the y component. So this angle is 25 correct? So we have v naught x is equal to v naught times cosine 25. So we're using cosine because it's the adjacent. Now v naught y is going to be v naught sine 25 because it's the opposite. So this is just trigonometry guys. So just remember this. So we have sine theta is usually equal to the opposite over hypotenuse and cosine theta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. This is why we use cosine here and this is why we use sine here. So if you go to page 78, you, we are giving the projectile motion equations right here. We're trying to find this distance, x, right? So we already said that x naught, so before we launched the projectile, x naught is zero, correct? So if we look at this equation right here, we could use this equation, but we don't have t. But we x naught we said is zero and v naught cosine theta we have that that's this one that's v naught x so v naught is already converted here in these equations at v naught x and v naught y it's already given to you like that in here so but I just wanted to demonstrate this for you guys just so you can uh, understand where those equations are coming from so let's write this equation first down so I have x is equal to v naught cosine theta times t plus x naught. So we said that this is zero, uh, v naught cosine theta, we have that, we have v naught, we have theta, but we don't have t and we don't have x. So we have two unknowns with, with one equation, we can't really solve it. So we need to find another equation that we can use. Now we can not really use this equation because we don't have vy, but we can use this equation. We have y, we have y naught, we have everything here except t. So we can easily solve for t. And then from there, we can uh, go back to equation one and just plug in t so that we can find the x, the distance. So y is equal to zero, like we said earlier, because it's going to land, so it's no more at a height, so it's just zero. g is minus 9.81 divided by two, t squared, plus, v naught sine theta, so I have 60, and I have sine theta, which is 25 degrees, we're going to leave t, plus y naught, which is 20. So this is a polynomial equation, so you could either solve it by hand, or you could just use the calculator. So in the calculator, if you have the TI36X Pro, which I did recommend in the previous videos, for the FE exam, you could do second and hit cosine, and then you will see the polynomial equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, then press enter, and then there it gives you a, 
you have to give them this term. So this is your term A. So you're going to write minus 4.905 and then you're going to press enter and then you have B, which is this term. That's your B because this equation, it has to be this way. Uh, so we have AX squared plus BX plus C. So make sure you enter the right terms and don't forget negative in the first term A. Now for B, you're going to do 60 times sine 25 and for your and then press enter and then you have C which is 20 and then you're going to press solve. The first one is going to give you a negative which it's impossible so that one we're not going to use and then you're going to press another one and it's going to give you the second solution which is 5.86 seconds. So that is your T, this is your time. Now we can use this, let's call this 2 and we can go back to equation 1 and plug it in 2. But let's actually pick a different color. Let's do red. So we have 2 in 1. So let's write x is equal to v naught, which is 60, cosine 25 degrees, times t, which is 5.86. And that's it. x naught is 0. So if you plug in this, you will get 318.66 meters. So this is seconds. This is meters per second. Seconds with seconds cancels, you're left with meters. So this is your distance, that's your answer. Okay guys, so on the next video, we're going to do part B of this problem. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to address it in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.